Vertical farming. Now this is gonna be an untraditional video from me about vertical farming because the background is a bit different and it's not a green screen. But I still want to talk about the resurrection of vertical farming. So vertical farms have had it rough for the past couple of years. Massive initial investments and higher operating costs were a significant hurdle at first for many farmers who wanted to transition their operation or expand it towards the sky. But since one of the only crops you can grow are low value leafy greens, the high capex and opex turned fatal as most farms weren't turning profit and had to shut down. But that's usually what happens in a bubble anyway. Now this all should change because there is a company called Fitoform pushing high value crops like tomatoes to be grown in vertical farms. Obviously tomato vines grow multiple meters tall and bear fruit only one per year i mean seasonally in nature which wouldn't help farmers who need to produce all year round and preferably with plants some 30 centimeters high so they can actually financially viably stack them up in the vertical farm since you don't really want to have one story three meters high doesn't make sense so phytoform developed a gmo tomato that grows only to a half a meter and interestingly when the tomatoes get ripe the plants to fruit ratio changes so in their words you get more of a tomato with leaves attached to it instead of a leaf dense plant with fruit on it the ratio should be as high as 300 grams of plant mass for one kilogram of the tomato which they achieved in their trials. Also, the total yield should be between 150 kilograms to 300 kilograms per square meter of land instead of the 40 kilograms you normally get in a greenhouse cultivation, which is a multiple 100% increase, but it comes at a cost. Now, I know that modern day corn isn't really natural, but at least it was bred with natural methods. On the other hand, I don't believe you can get this out of that in only a couple of years using just cross pollination or, or grafting. And since they modify the genes, I wouldn't really want to eat it for the same reason you don't want to eat cancer cells. On the other hand, I still want to see vertical farms prosper because they were one of the main reasons I started with this channel. So what would you say to growing high value crops not for human consumption but for industrial purposes? One of the best use cases I can think of right now would be using vertical farms in tree and houseplants nurseries. The tropical plants have to be grown in a controlled environment anyway since they wouldn't just grow outside in most of the western world where they are so popular. And their price could also justify the high capex and opex of the operation. Another crop that would be interesting to grow vertically is cotton. Recently a British startup has been making waves in the industry by announcing a 1 million dollar investment. This cash should be used across the next three years for a research project to make vertical cotton production more efficient and financially feasible. And the next thing I would like to see is if we are going to grow biofuels at least grow them efficiently meaning vertical production with the usage of free renewable energy. For example, algae can allegedly produce up to 70 times more biofuels per acre than corn and this is what some of the already existing vertical farms look like. But there is a major issue as you might have guessed with the financial viability of algae biofuel production. So low-tech production facilities like this one would be more competitive in this particular case but that wouldn't really help the resurrection of vertical farms. Since you now get the gist of what vertical farming would need in order to rejuvenate itself, do you have any other ideas for high value crops that could be grown vertically? Maybe corn that grows 10 cm stalks but giant cobs? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.